Lesson 0. Installing PHP. You will need to have Apache Web Server installed as we showed in our development video. Open a web browser and enter this URL into the address bar. This will bring you to the Windows PHP download page shown here. Scroll down the page to find the latest version of the VC6 x86 ThreadSafe release. The most recent version currently available is 5.3.1. Left-click the installer link. This will bring up the file download security warning that looks like this. Left-click the Run button to start the download. It will take a minute or two to complete the download. When it is complete, you should see another security warning dialog like this one. Left-click the Run button to continue the installation. After a short time, you should see the PHP Setup Wizard shown here. Left-click the Next button to continue. This will open the license agreement shown here. If you accept the terms, left-click the checkbox next to I accept the terms in the license agreement and left-click the next button. Now you should see the destination folder dialog, which allows you to select where you would like to install PHP. We recommend that you accept the default location and left-click the next button. This will bring you to the web server setup dialog. Left-click the radio button next to Apache 2.2.x module and left-click the Next button. Now you should see the Apache Configuration Directory dialog. Left-click the Browse button to open the Select Apache Configuration Directory. Double-click the Apache Software Foundation folder, then double-click the Apache 2.2 folder. Finally, double-click the Conf folder and left-click the OK button to continue and set the directory. Now left-click the Next button to go to the Choose Items to Install dialog and left-click the Next button to accept the default items. Now you are ready to begin the installation. Left-click the Install button to start. This will start the installation. Depending on which version of Windows you have, you may see a User Account Controls warning. Left-click Allow to continue. After a few minutes, the installation will be completed and you will see this dialog. Left-click the Finish button. Next, open the folder at this location. Right-click the file httpd.conf and left-click Open in the pop-up menu. This brings up the dialog for opening the file. Left-click the radio button next to Select a program from the list of installed programs, then left-click the Open button. This brings up the Open with dialog shown here. Left-click Notepad to select it, and then left-click the OK button to open the file. Now the file is open in Notepad. Scroll down the page to find the text shown here. After index.html, add the text index.php. Then left-click File in the menu bar and left-click Save in the submenu to save the file. Finally, right-click the Apache icon in the taskbar and left-click Open Apache Monitor to open the Apache Service Monitor dialog. If the Start button is not grayed, like this, left-click it to start the Apache web server. Otherwise, left-click the Restart button to restart it. This allows the new configuration to be used. Left-click the OK button to close the dialog. This concludes the lesson.